a broad spectrum organic insecticide which is so safe you can eat it let's study diatomaceous earth and its benefits in gardening so what is diatomaceous earth diatomaceous earth or in short de is a very fine powder diatomaceous earth is made from the fossilized remains of tiny aquatic organisms called diatoms while there are different variants of diatomaceous earth used for various purposes you want to make sure that for gardening purposes you want the food grade diatomaceous earth here is a commonly available food grade diatomaceous earth product you want to buy a product which also comes with an applicator and we'll soon see how to apply this product although it looks like a fine powder under the microscope diatomaceous earth looks like many barbs or shards and this is what makes diatomaceous earth very effective on two classifications of organisms so let's look at what diatomaceous earth controls arthropods like aphids corn earworm mealybugs spider mites tomato or tobacco hornworm and white flies gastropods like snails or slugs although it's less effective against them since they are in wet environments which is not very conducive for diatomaceous earth to work but this should give you a good idea on what insects the diatomaceous earth controls and what it does not okay now let's look at how to apply diatomaceous earth it's highly recommended that you wear a mask during application although diatomaceous earth is safe to humans it does irritate the nasal passages and yes you shouldn't be breathing in any form of dust anyways so wear a mask we will be using this applicator which makes easy work of spreading the diatomaceous earth on the plants fill up the applicator container and you're ready to roll by using the nozzle pointing up you can get a fine cloud of diatomaceous earth on your plants pay attention to the wind direction you can see here that the wind is blowing towards us so we start spraying in the other direction where the wind is blowing away from us in our vegetable garden we use diatomaceous earth to control aphids and spider mites very effectively use it once a week when you start seeing these insects or pests in your garden now by turning the applicator upside down you get a larger amount of powder dust the plants thoroughly we also use it on our container plants and this is great for plants like okra and eggplants where you want adequate coverage to control aphids as an example now how does diatomaceous earth work the way diatomaceous earth controls arthropods is that it removes lipids or fats from their exoskeleton and the arthropods eventually shed it causing it to dry out and they die or they become easy prey to predators like birds etc does it work on ants well technically yes but there are better methods to control ants which we'll probably look at in a separate episode and ants don't usually cause any damage to plants except that they protect aphids but generally they're not too much of a problem if you have a lot of rain or a lot of water on your plants diatomaceous earth will not be very effective you need a dry environment for diatomaceous earth to be effective and yes technically you can mix diatomaceous earth in water and spray but it will only be effective once the water dries out and the diatomaceous earth is in its dry form diatomaceous earth takes about 36 to 48 hours to take action you want the insects to crawl on it for it to be effective you can rinse off the excess powder of the plants for getting your garden aesthetics back now you may be asking whether diatomaceous earth affects beneficial insects like bees and ladybugs yes to some extent if you apply the product early in the morning or late in the evening when bees are less active they will try to avoid the dust later that's the best you can do and you're not intentionally harming them but overall diatomaceous earth is still a relatively safe product in fact extremely safe for humans and pets they are also used on pets to control fleas as an example so all in all it's a great product it's an organic product that will let you control a wide range of insects in your garden so there we have it that's all you need to know about this wonderful product called diatomaceous earth so do you use diatomaceous earth in your garden do let us know in the comments make sure you like this video and share it with your friends it's a great educational session which no one should miss happy gardening